Welcome to This Week Health. My name is Bill Russell. I'm a former CIO for a 16 hospital system and creator of This Week Health, where we are dedicated to transforming healthcare one connection at a time. Today, we have an interview in action from the 2024 conferences, the spring conferences, Vive in LA, HIMSS in Orlando. Special thanks to our sponsors, Quantum Health, Gordian, Dr. First, CDW, Gozio Health, Artisite, and Zscaler. You can check them out on our website, thisweekhealth.com. Now, on to our interview. Hi, I'm Drex, and we are here at HIMSS 2024 doing a lot of interviews for This Week Health. And right now I'm joined by Jonathan from Hypcoring, and there's a lot of things I want to ask. Let's start with you. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your background. Vernon O'Donnell, President of Field Operations at Hypcore. He's running our go-to-market and customer interactions from a marketing perspective. I've been with the company nine months. So early. Still yeah. early, still on my, maybe coming a little farther than my honeymoon phase. My background is much more traditional enterprise software in SaaS. So I worked in supply chain before this, before that sports, before that education across a variety of segments. The reason I came back though is I am a veteran myself and I served in the Army in 20-ish plus more than 20 years ago. So while wow, this is a great way for me to full circle my career in software with something of my personal interest, which is just a really important vital service to the defense community and refugee space. Yeah. I mean, the mission, right? The, yeah. the mission, the mission stuff. matters. Tell me about Hapori, tell me about the mission. Yep. And then I'm going to ask you about the name. Yeah, sure, that. sure, of tell, course. Tell me about the mission. What do you guys do? How does it work? Yep. And you're here. You're coming out in the healthcare community? That's right. So we'll talk about Hapori first. I'll talk about healthcare okay. and I'll give you the name. Hapori is a cybersecurity company focused on protecting data on the edge device. Now, predominantly that's mobile, but it also works on laptop and tablet and a variety of others. And the way we go about doing that is really unique. We are actually a virtual device hosted in a secure cloud. And then we just stream encrypted change pixels to that instance. There's no data in transit. There's no data at rest. If I lose the device, if you lose the device, no risk whatsoever. We have multi-factor and biometric authentication on there. You can give your phone to an actual terrorist. It would not matter. It's fully protected. And it protects both it protects the, the enterprise and the entity with their intellectual property and their secure data. Or be it a HIM, HIPAA data, right? THI, and right. like really protecting that. But it also protects the user. So the user's phone is also completely partitioned. So your company has no idea what's happening on your phone. From a soldier perspective, that's great, but you think about it from a physician or a nurse perspective, that personal liability aspect that HIPAA finds you're protected from. Because that HIPAA component information has never actually touched your person. Yeah, right. And the other thing that happens sometimes is that there are lawsuits or other things that happen yeah. where you wind up losing your whole phone and all of the stuff who tries to yes. have the code mainly yes. on the device. That's right, exactly. You're, you're right. So we protect against that. They get no code of data, not even no code mainly. You know, and the big reason we're here and kind of the joke is start coming out already to the healthcare center. You know, we grew up in the Department of Defense and the use case was much more around how do we put an operator into an environment where maybe they're conducting some sort of clandestine operations. Yeah. They need to buy a burner phone, on that burner phone, they need to access uh, command information on a dirty compromised network and still feel that it's protected that the mission is safe. You wouldn't think no fair, but then really what you're thinking about is that's protecting data. That's really what it is, right? At the core of the essence. And when you think about the proliferation of breaches in the healthcare community, Healthcare data is probably one of the most valuable assets. For adversaries, it absolutely is. Right, for adversaries. There's so many things you can do. Absolutely. Filing false claims, absolutely. stealing identity. Yeah. You know better than I do. I mean, it's an immense no risk that's exposed there. And so we thought, hey, we've helped the BOD, we've helped the health mission. Let's go help healthcare companies also protect their data with the same level of greater and focus. And I know as a private citizen, I would not like my healthcare data to be compromised right. and available on, on the web. So we're trying to do whatever we can. I like the genealogy. Uh, starting with three letter agents, you get out for them, but once you've got to figure it out for them, yeah. I think we would be maybe a little bit easier. Has that turned out to be the case? Yes and no. Yes, and that the tech works the way we expected it to work because we figured it out with the, probably the most intense of rigorous use cases, I mean, seven red teams and all the various things that go into that environment. But what we sacrificed in the future, right? And so what we're finding now in the healthcare space is that we use this more of an onus on, hey, we want this virtual device to look and feel like everything. We wanted to look and see you are very much like my like or, right? or Yeah, and you know, look, if you're a special forces operator, you're willing to compromise a little bit on the experience for the, for the mission. I, I the good news is, just as I think it was in October, maybe late early November, we just launched our new product, and, and it was a significant leap forward for us to use 
which is why we're here. Because we didn't feel like we were Perfect. ready for product standpoint. It's going to be up to stuff from an experience standpoint, but still have all of that back end potential. So easy for me to say, but what's the reaction been? You had a lot of people come through, have conversations, and what are they saying? I, it's going to sound like I'm I know uh, you're yes your here. Board. I know. Okay. It's been shockingly positive. I was anticipating a lot more what or why. Or you guys are a defense company. Like, why are you here? Once we show the app and have those interactions, people, the light bulbs go. We had one senior director of a hospital network come over and say, I've been trying to solve this problem for six years. I talked to every MDM company. It doesn't solve it the way I wanted to solve it. You guys are actually doing this. Why have we never talked before? I was like, well, one, my product wasn't ready before we were talking about Yeah. <laughs> And that seems to have been the common reaction. We're feeling very good about things. We've got some work to do on a few areas, we think, some opportunities, but it's really positive. I mean, I'm excited for you. And it's a chronic problem. It's yeah. a problem that we've had in healthcare for a long time. are solving that problem in an interesting way. Yeah. So let me ask you about the name. Okay. So the, back to so the name of Corey is a deep cut Star Wars reference. I had to ask when I started as well. So apparently, <laughs> the early days, the company is built on Android apps, uh, okay. from the back end tech, yeah. right? So Android and, and that concept of Droid's always been a part of the essence of it. In our early days when we were on-prem solution, our servers were named after planets in the Star Wars ecosystem. Uh, it's ultimately when the company had to come out as an actual name, Droid was on the table and all this is still Star Wars reference on the table. But they found that the Corey, one of the planets that Droid's were protected, on that was mentioned in one video game one time <laughs> was open for us to kind of make a trademark and brand. So we found we threaded that needle and our engineers love it. So the, the Star Wars guys at that work is doing That's an interesting story. It's not a bad name. A lot of us are kind of nerds yeah, in a lot yeah. of ways. So that we're having that kind of touch of cool. Yeah. Especially in, the cyber, to, especially in the cybersecurity cyber space. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, those guys need to know. Yeah. That's great. One of the things that happens yeah. often when I use interview is that we talk about the person, we talk about the company. We have like an up, lots yeah. of name, but there's always something at the end that when I turn off the camera, the person says, oh man, I wish I would have reminded you to ask me about this. Yeah. So this is your chance for me to say, what am I not asking? It's probably one of the I think the biggest thing that we didn't touch on is the ease of use of the ease of setting. You're not going to have to go through a big laborious technical integration or there's implementation services and people are running around for months trying to get it to work. It can be spun up in a matter of days, right? If you work with the IT department, we submit a user, you send them a QR code, they click the QR code, they go through whatever authentication is in the corporate environment, they can guess what, boom, their information is. It's all managed in the back end on a cloud that we own and they stay on the half of our customers in a very simple way. So ease of setup is... And a long-time software guy providing value quickly is one of those for sure. And so every individual that wants to use it, they get, they get a That's how they get the download. Oh, I, I have it on my phone. I could show. Yeah, I'll give you a little show real quick. Okay. I actually have a government account, so in fact, I'm with more. Okay. And then I have my employees who start internal PR. We don't eat our own dog food. We're a classy operation. We drink our own shit. Like that. Yeah, so. I actually made the eat my own dog food reference earlier. Yeah, this is that. So we drink our own champagne. I go in, and then this is effectively my corporate environment. My email, my team, my Google, everything it is looks secure. Just like a regular it looks iPhone. just like a regular phone. I can type in and use multiple apps. And multiple apps. I'm a control freak. I like to organize things so you can see all my folders structured. It literally just looks like a regular iPhone. It looks like a phone. But it's not on your phone. It's all streaming. This is all, all streaming. It's not on my phone. Thanks for the conversation. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah. Um, I'll clean. See you around here. Yeah. Perfect. And Drex, I appreciate you taking time to talk to us. For sure. Thank you so much. Thank Perfect. you. Thanks for listening to this interview in action episode. If you found value in this, share it with a peer. It's a great chance to discuss and in some cases start a mentoring relationship. One way you can support the show is to subscribe and leave us a rating. If you could do that, that would be great. And we want to give a big thanks to our partners who make this possible. Quantum Health, Gordian, Dr. First, CDW, Gozio Health, Artisite, and Zscaler. You can learn more about them by visiting thisweekhealth.com slash partners. Thanks for listening. That's all for now.